Jay, what should we look at here? There's a lot of everything in there. There's all kinds of stuff in there. This is really cool. <laughs> Have you been to Sidecar? No. This is your water tank. Just water. Just water. Drink it if you want. That's your fuel. See, I have 160 pounds of fuel pressure. I have 26 pounds of pilot pressure. I don't have any steam yet. And what, and what are you going for on these gauges? What you need Ideally. is steam. As soon as you have steam pressure, we can pull away. We're heating up about 15 gallons of water, so it takes a little while. Show me that strap. We'll keep it loose, not tight. And so, so okay. she blows up, but doesn't take the whole hood with it. Just the first, <laughs> first one is good. Yeah, might as well. Does this sounds, go somewhere? Sounds scarier than it is. <laughs> This car was a racing car. Yeah. What was the purpose of, of this particular model in general? The Vanderbilt Cup race in New York on Long Island, 1906. Plus 105 years old. What's the top speed? Uh, last speed I hit was 90. No way. Yeah, she'll do 100 easy. Cars have always been fast. It's getting them to stop and go around corners is the problem. No shifting, no clutch. So what is the maintenance on this? If there's no transmission and you know, no engine really, what's the maintenance? Well, you've got an engine. You've got to keep your fire going. I mean, you're in a car made of wood that's on fire. Plus, you're carrying 30 gallons of steaming water so you can get Burned to death and scalded to death at the same time. That's rare that you're able to do that. Is this all one building? It is now. I, I just connected them all. Okay. You want to see the Baker Electric? Is that yeah. interest you? Yeah. Hop in the other side. Okay. Okay, so 1909. Well, these were women's shopping cars. These are very popular because don't forget cars you had to hand crank and they were greasy and you had to set the carburetor and all this stuff. So women loved these because they were virtually maintenance free. But the problem you had was the same sex as the problem you have now. You can't sell a man a woman's car. It has, for example, see this here? This is a makeup kit. Oh my goodness. So you put, um, you're supposed to put face powder and oh things like that gosh. in there. And it's got, the, that's why it has the flowers. Didn't they have a car in the 50s that they made to women too that came with, you know, like that a was, purse and... No, that was the Dodge La Femme. Yes. Yeah, it came with a matching purse and parasol yes. and, and a raincoat. Yes, yes. Yeah. I had never seen one. So one day I get invited to the gay car show. It's an all gay guys with cars. Where is this? It was here in Hollywood. Okay. I go to the gay car show, there were six of them. It really made me laugh. Six guys had them, and the other couldn't have been more thrilled. With it. They had the matching little perfume thing, and everything went with it. I mean, it was really funny. It just I love made it. me laugh. Uh, New York City had charging stations all over the city at the turn of the You're century. Kidding. Oh yeah, about every six blocks there was a charging station, and these were cabs. People, would, the cab driver would go out for five hours, or how long, or eighty miles, whatever it took. Then he'd bring it back, charge this one up, pick up another cab. Why did that disappear? <laughs> Um, it just did because gasoline was quicker and faster, and you know it's just one of those things. You know. So, what are the specs on this? How you know how fast can it go? It goes about 22 miles an hour. Okay. It has a lot of torque. It'll climb any hill with four really? people in it. Oh yeah, it's very, it's powerful that way. And the basic principle is the same as the um, as the Tesla. There's no transmission. Mm -hmm. The engine just makes full power. In fact, the roll-up window had not even been invented yet. This has what they call uh, rail car windows. And you have shades for privacy. It's so, it's so civilized. Yeah, that's right. You, I feel like having finger sandwiches or something. Well, that's what it was. Women love these. <laughs> Henry, Ford, Henry Ford's wife wouldn't drive a Model T, but she drove one of these. It's quite feminine and everything else. Now, what, were you, what are you controlling with your, with okay. your hand on there? Right here. This is your, like a rheostat. You ever seen an electric train set where you have the rheostat where you can sure. adjust how much electricity? Sure. That's what you're doing. And you're steering using this this crossbar. Yeah, the tiller, yeah. Yeah, the tiller. Oh, that's yeah. So is that a nautical term? I, I guess it is. I think it probably is. Yeah. Okay. I have done absolute. I mean, I restored it, mm -hmm. but I've never done any maintenance. 
it's an electric, you don't have to do anything to it. It's literally bulletproof. You just drive it. You know, when I have Al Gore or Leonardo DiCaprio or those people on the show, I always drive this to work because it's uh, <laughs> the green. Probably shouldn't ask you this on camera, but is this street legal? Yeah, oh yeah, I got plates I mean, on it. It is? Oh, oh yeah, I didn't even, I didn't notice. It's got stop lights, it's got okay. headlights. Okay. It's, uh, so it is a registered vehicle. Oh yeah, every, uh, every vehicle in the garage every, is registered. All of your, yeah. wow, okay. Every one of them, yeah. Oh, actually, something that's kind of interesting. Well, this is quite a controversial ad for the day. Controversial? See, it's his, see, it's his daddy getting uh, you a baker, but yes. it's like, is that creepy old guy her father, or is it her sugar daddy? Oh. Is, the guy's like, a, yeah, you know, that's... Like a, see her little face in the window? That's... You know, it's funny. Read that sentence. Nine out of ten women could attach this visor to their own cars alone and without help in one Just, minute. That's terrible. And you want to meet that tenth And only, yeah, nine out of ten. <laughs> That's terrible. Isn't that hilarious? How offensive. This will run? Yeah. You all seem astounded. I'm, I am astounded. Why are you astounded that something runs? I think that's fantastic because sometimes you get these people who won't even let you touch their car and they never drive them. And, oh, yeah. I'm using them.